Hi Leo, you are going to be the last sign that I'm reading for for the night. Um, <laughs> my light died, so the lighting is crap. Apologies, we're gonna continue to go. I already read for um, Aries already, already has a video out, so I read for Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Um, and I read for a client, and now I'm reading for Leo. My light died, as you can see. Um, but it's October, which is spooky month. And so I wanted to get this reading out because, you know, I love, I love spooky month. It's October, the veil is thin, and things have already been proving to be really weird right now. Um... So on Cancer's read, I, or was it Cancer's? I think it was Taurus's read. I was editing it and I played it back and there was like this pause where like the video was, the sound was like affected and it was really quiet and you could hear like a voice playing in the beginning of Taurus's video, like a voice that was not mine. So... I can already tell that the veil is thin and the spirits are active. <laughs> Crazy. But it is October and you guys know October is my favorite flipping month. So without a light, without a camera stand, the show must go on. I run this show and I say the show is going to continue no matter what. I left my camera stand at my mom's house when I went to take care of her for her surgery and so I have no camera stand and that's why I've been MIA so I'm very sorry about that I apologize for my absence and I'm still continuing to film and everything even with you know no camera stand I'm sitting on the floor I am crisscross applesauce my butt is numb from doing these readings not really but it's funny um so it's October we're using um hold on it is October. We are using Spooky Tarot. You know, I love October because the veil is thin, because it's Spooky Month, and we do Spooky Tarot because love is scary. I don't have a light, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're going, we're gonna continue, Leo. So now we are reading for Leo. This is a general love reading, not a twin flame reading, but um, if love, you know, if uh, some twin cards come out, I will be sure to let you know. If twin energy comes out, you know I always do, how I always do. So I've already meditated, and so I am a clear vessel for source energy. I've already cleansed the space with incense, and I'm ready to go. Leo, we're reading now for Leo, love reading for Leo. You guys are my last reading of the night. Leo. <clears throat> and then I gotta get to feeding my littles and stuff. Wheel of Fortune, ooh. Leo, you guys got a faded romance coming in. I'm talking F-A-T-E, fate, meant to be. Sorry about the toilet noises. Someone's obviously using the bathroom next to me. <laughs> you have a romance of a lifetime, a faded encounter, a serendipitous fortunus. Love. Wow, we have the Empress. So, Leo, the energy is beautiful right now that's surrounding you. I see that you are pulling in magnetically all of these amazing, incredible, beautiful things. Your energy is on point. You are magnetic. You are attracting in everything that you are trying to attract in. Okay, everything that you want is already in your energy field. You've already 
attracted it in. It's about aligning now to it. Okay? So, masculine or feminine, um, the energy surrounding you is the energy of the Empress, which is this energy of drawing in everything to you through your vibration. Magnetically, you are attracting everything, including love. There's something specifically, Leo, that you've been trying to attract in, and it's there, okay? Now it's just a matter of staying aligned with that vibrational frequency, which is whatever it is that you've attracted in, it's already in your field. Now, all you have to do is focus on staying aligned with it, staying on the same frequency vibration as what it is that you want, okay? It's already there. And this is meant to happen. This is a faded relationship, a faded I won't say quite yet that it's twin soul, but it's definitely faded. It's a soulmate, a twin soul, a twin flame, whatever you want to call it. It's a deep soul connection that's meant to happen. This comes after lots of very bad encounters. In the love department Leo I see that in the past there has been relationships in your past which would keep you up at night there was you know a lot of anxiety and stress about your relationship status and about relationships you've had in the past and all of that is changing for you all right there will be no more sleepless nights not that I'm saying that there are sleepless nights for you right now, you know, or you have been having sleepless nights, but I do feel like for some of you Leos, there has been a lot of not really nightmares, but strange dreams. You're not alone right now. Collectively, we're all going through this weird sort of like dream period where our dreams are helping us to process a lot of the old stagnant energies um, and things that we are no longer believing in, like past limited beliefs, right? All of that's being shed right now through the dream state. So you're bound to run into very strange dreams. Things that from your past coming up and resurfacing to haunt you, right? There's the fate and destiny and the empress, which is all of the good teams and nine of swords, which is, um, you know, a lot of anxiety from the past, um, being let go in the dream state. Yeah. Wow. So we have the lovers, which can indicate a choice in love. Most importantly, Leo, what is it that you are choosing? What is it that Leo is choosing in love? Because whatever it is that you are choosing for yourself is what will show up in your reality right now at this time. Like I said, you're in this <clears throat> energy of <clears throat> manifesting, excuse me, <clears throat> and I'm getting something in the throat chakra. So some of you could have something, some truth to speak or something that needs to be said because I'm feeling a lot of heavy energy in the throat chakra all of a sudden, right? But this is a faded faded encounter, Leo, which you have manifested, right? 
with this beautiful magnetic empress energy. It doesn't have anything to do with gender. It has to do with someone who is in touch with their feminine side, drawing things into themselves magnetically, right? With a magnetic vibration. And this is going to bring about a very important choice in love, which is for you to choose, Leo, what it is clearly that you want and to send your order into the universe. This could also, it feels like someone is choosing you. Not to say that, like, I don't understand why anyone would not choose a Leo because Leos are just so extravagantly bright. You know, Leo is represented by the sun, right? And there's the sun, ironically. Um, but this is mainly Leo because you're choosing yourself, okay? You're choosing your happiness and your bliss and it's drawing things to you, like I said, magnetically. What else do we have for Leo, please? Yes. See, you've done a lot of wonderful soul searching, Leo. You've um, done a lot of deep shadow work and you've done the inner work. You were aware of the things that needed to be released in order for you to step into your greatest, highest timeline, right? And justice is about you doing the soul searching. And why is there just a line right here? Just, just the light. <laughs> just on eyes. So because you've done this beautiful soul searching and discovered who Leo is deep at the core, you're getting all of this beautiful karma. And, you know, it's magnetized you. This good karma is just magnetized to you, right? So things are going to start popping off for you in your love life. Also, we have the Wounded Warrior here, which is the Nine of Wands. I feel like, you know, you are aware in the past of this energy of playing the victim of this Wounded Warrior energy. And since you've gotten yourself out of that energy, right, all of a sudden it's propelling you into your greatest timeline of love. You might have been even dealing with someone, Leo, who was also in this very wounded warrior energy. Sorry about any background noise. So you might have been drawing in partners into you who had this same wounded warrior energy because that was in your vibration. But now that that energy is gone, you can attract what is really truly meant for you and what you know you deserve, Leo, right? Okay, let's get one more card from this deck and then we're going to move on. What else does Leo need to know, please? Justice is also Libra energy, so take that how it resonates. Can we get some character traits? Um, and that way Leo will know this person whether it's from their past or their future, this faded meeting. Can we get some clarification as to who this person is for Leo? So we have the Page of Wands. This is someone who has had a lot of growth, Leo, a lot of growth, just like you. So you didn't start out, you know, Although you are miraculous and beautiful and magical, Leo, you didn't start out at your best self, but it took a lot of lessons and a lot of things and a lot of growth, right, um, to get you where to where you are right now, Leo, which is this beautiful magnetic um, aura and personality, which is drawing everything that you want to you. So this person has had a lot of growth in this past, in their journey, right? This is the person who has had the most growth. You may have watched them grow from like this little sapling to like this beautiful, bountiful personality and aura that they are now. Okay, that's how you'll know who this person is. You've watched their growth in their journey. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, let's see. 
Let's get a numerology card, and then we'll end with a music oracle card for you, beautiful Leo. All right, what else do we have for Leo? What else do we have for Leo? Spirit is asking me to shuffle one more time, so I'm going to do that. <clears throat> Leo, ooh, flipped right over, 91, surrender. So remember, Leo, when this beautiful connection comes in and you feel it in your heart and your heart space and you get the little butterflies please remember to surrender to this because this is your beautiful new beginning just number 10 9 and 1 added up it's 10 this is the new beautiful love beginning that you have been waiting for you have been waiting for and yearning for and craving it's here leo it's here Okay, so remember to surrender and let spirit guide you and let yourself guide yourself, right? You are everything. You are spirit. You are the spirit guides. You're the spirit team. You're the universe. You're all of it. It's all you. Everybody is you. We're all connected. Everyone is you playing a different role for you as you create your story. So remember that and surrender to what it is that you are creating and what it is that you want, Leo. You have worked really hard and you deserve this, Leo. All right. So remember that when it comes in, surrender, surrender, and when in doubt, surrender again. Okay. Let's get a music oracle card for you, for Leo. I got this beautiful deck from my friend Stephanie for my birthday. Thank you for sharing this timeline with me, Stephanie. I love you so fiercely. Look. <laughs> and ironically, my friend Stephanie is also a Leo. So maybe she's watching. Who knows? All right. What is the final message for Leo? And these cards have the message right across the front of the card. So it's very easy to interpret them. <clears throat> Final message for Leo, please. Oof, that one was starting to come out, Leo. Leo, final message for Leo, please. All right, we have Patty Smith. And it says, Jesus died for somebody's sins, but not yours. <laughs> Learn to make peace with eternal dissatisfaction or to change it <laughs> the most powerful form of rebellion is of the spirit oh amen that is so leo energy the most powerful form of rebellion is of the spirit and lord knows leo you are a beautiful rebellious spirit all right i love you so fiercely if something resonated leo please like and subscribe it is completely free for you and it helps me to grow my channel, and I appreciate you so much. Um, if you would like to book a reading with me, the all of the information, it was just 1808, so I got distracted on my camera. All of the information will be in the pinned comments, in the comment section, and also in the description box below my video. All right, Leo, I love you.